Ladies and gentlemen, we are excited to share the latest Salesforce innovations with you, which means we may talk about future-looking products and services. Because future-looking statements are inherently subject to risk and uncertainty, our reminder is that you should make any purchasing or investment decisions based on products that are currently commercially available. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vice President Healthcare and Life Science Salesforce, Mike Lucy. My wife's name is Aaliyah, and Aaliyah was adopted from South Korea as an infant. And what this meant for her is that she has no family health history, nothing about her mother, her father, any siblings. And when we were younger, it didn't really impact us until we became pregnant with our first child. And during that pregnancy, at about 28 weeks, we ran into extreme complications. Complications enough that the doctor said that if she did not have this surgery, that likely the baby and her would die. And so, you know, good thing is there's a happy ending to this story, that last week Thursday, uh, my son, Sam, turned 13 years old, which brings on a whole, whole other host of problems, right? Have a teenager now. But, I want to make sure that I call out a thank you to each and every one of you in this room. Because for me to have my wife and son today is because of the pharma companies, the med device companies, the providers, and the payers in the room that, you know, you provided the medicine, the devices, the care, and also the financial insurance to make sure that that event did not bankrupt us. And I know how hard it is to do these things in what we call the fourth industrial revolution. And I don't want to talk in detail about the devices and, and all the other innovations we're seeing that I've, you probably saw a lot of amazing things this week. What I'd rather talk about is what patients want in the new world. And we could say patients, members, consumers, doctors, every one of you has a different customer. But I'm going to tie this back to my wife's story. Remember, I said she had no family health history. And so she turned to DNA testing last year. And the DNA testing provided a lot of great insights. It was actually amazing what it told her. But at the same time, she started asking me questions about how do I use this data? So she said, could this data be tied into my health record? Could I use this for personalizing my treatment long term? Do you think this could help lower my cost of care into the future? And by the way, I'd like this anywhere, anytime, on any device. And I don't think that's different than what each and every one of you would want in this room for yourselves or your family or any other loved one. But we know it's really hard right now. I could uh, sp probably spend the next hour talking about all these changes that are impacting each and every one of you in the room. From the silver tsunami with the aging and the chronic populations, patient demands that I just talked about, interoperability being expected in every single uh, situation across every single organization. And probably the topic that came up the most this week as I was talking with others is the challenges with the increased competition, which is, how do I continue to do what I'm doing today when my margins are being squeezed, and where do I find new business that can help me continue the mission of whatever we're trying to do as an organization? And the way we look at it is we simplify it and say consumers want personalized, collaborative, connected, yet every one of you in this room says, yep, it's got to be scalable, it's got to be controlled, and it's got to remain trusted. So how do we do these things? And if you, if you haven't heard about customer success and we, what we talk about all this week is we will always tell you, start by putting the customer in the center, whether your customer is the patient, the member, the doctor, the consumer, whoever that is, start with them in the center and you don't have to have trade-offs. Right? You can have personalized and scalable, collaborative and controlled, and connected and trusted. And if you look at this slide, it's a bit of an eye chart, right? Lots of things on it. 
And, and I know when I talk to leaders around the world, they say, right, the customer success platform, but what are you doing for us in this industry? So we call it the patient success platform, the member success platform, the healthcare and life sciences success platform. And what many of you may or may have not known is a few years ago, we started putting heavy emphasis on industries. There are thousands of people at Salesforce that wake up every single day with you in mind. And how do we solve your most complex challenges and also some of your I guess least complex challenges. I kind of call those blocking and tackling versus the strategic future. And what I want you to know, and if you looked around the room, there, there's a, about a thousand of you in this room right now. And we have thousands of customers around the world that have been on this journey with you. And so you're not the first ones to necessarily start. There's others that have been on the journey and you're actually gonna hear from some of them today. But I'm gonna switch gears for just a second because all these amazing customers are using our platform. And I get asked all the question, get the question all the time, tell us more about the platform. Where are you making your investments? What else can we do? And so I'm gonna bring up our vice president of product management who recently was named as a female IT leader to follow, to watch alongside some of the CEOs of other uh, healthcare companies, including the largest EMR in the world. So my pleasure to introduce Rita Sharma. Hello everyone, thank you. I'm Rita Sharma. I have the pleasure of leading the product management for healthcare life sciences here at Salesforce. And I am so excited to tell you about all the innovations we've been working on for Health Cloud. We introduced Health Cloud to the market two years ago to meet the needs of our healthcare providers and our life science companies to put the patient in the center. Now we've extended the product for our payer customers to be able to meet their needs as well so they can service their members. We started with the patient tools so we can really engage those patients, whether it's a di digital engagement app or a portal. And then we turned around and said, okay, what, how do we help our employees that service these members and patients to be the most effective in doing their job? So we introduced member services, utilization management, and patient services. And we did all this on the foundation of a data model and built it on the platform so that it was truly extensible and that you could customize it to what you needed to do in your business. Trust we talk about all the time. And I wanna to talk to you about trust for a second. Trust is our number one value. Hold on for one second, please. Okay. Trust is our number one value and it's at the center of everything we do. In my product team, every product team here at Salesforce, trust, security, number one values. So whether it's HIPAA or GDPR, we make sure that we address the needs of the market around regulation and security. And we're so committed to interoperability that we actually just joined the pledge, the interoperability pledge with five other tech companies. And we said, we will keep our standards open and we will make our data accessible. Super committed in this area. We've been recognized by the market, and I'm thrilled by that. Forrester Wave said we were the number one enterprise health cloud. And actually, they created a category called enterprise health cloud and started tracking us. We did very well. We also got recognized by Class. Class said we were the number one healthcare CRM, and they too started tra tra tracing or tracking healthcare CRM as a category. We've been humbled by all the recognition, and I'm so very excited to talk to you about the product. We started with the platform. That's where our foundation is. We talked to our customers. Our customers said, start with the foundation of the platform. It's so powerful. And on that, we built our number one CRM, which was service and sales cloud. And then our customer said, I need more. And so we made health cloud. 
Health Cloud has a number of specific health services, whether it's a timeline or a household map, or a number of different data models that allow our customers to work with their data and pull it into Salesforce and pull it into Health Cloud. And with that, as we release the product three times a year, three releases per year, very committed to that, we also introduced um, a new data model for payers as well, and utilization management and pre-authorization. So that's the journey we're gonna go through now. Um, first, we're gonna start with the care request created by the provider. We're gonna then move into Makana Health, which is our health plan, utilization management nurse, member care management, and finally, but very important, our member engagement. So we're gonna go through this journey together, and as we go through this journey, you're gonna also get to see all the features. Now let's start with the demo. Okay, so our providers have lots of different ways to submit requests to a, to a health plan. They can call, they can fax. We've introduced a way for them to do it through self-service through a pair portal. So here a provider can initiate their pre-authorization and this will now route over to our utilization management nurse. Let's join Barbara. Barbara is a registered nurse. She, she's a utilization management nurse at Makana Health. She gets in the morning, gets her coffee, of course, and now she's got her utilization management console. And here she can see all of the requests that she has coming in. She's not going to multiple systems. She goes to one system and she can see all of her requests. She's gonna go into her utilization management list in the utilization management list, she can see what kind of request it is, and more importantly, what's the priority of that? So she's starting with a prioritized work list on how she's gonna handle her prior authorizations. She's gonna go to the first request, because it's rated high, and now she's on the record. On the left-hand side, you can see the member card. The member card has data from all the different sources, whether it's claims database or any other source. She's got all her information in one place, and now she's gonna to go to her care request. In the care request, she wants to know who the requesting practitioner is, Dr. Peterson in this case. She wants to know what the diagnosis is. She's gonna go up to the tab up top so she can look at the diagnosis. And she also wants to know if there were any related um, it's typically there's attachments, so she's gonna go and check out, there are some attachments in this case. She also can look at her knowledge articles and see how does her organization, Makana Health, handle cardiac, cardiac imaging requests. So she's got all her information, she's reviewed her protocols, she's reviewed all the data, and now she's got enough information to say this is medically necessary, and she's gonna approve this request. Once she approve it, approves it, it will route through their system so that the appropriate workflow can happen around it. If Barbara, for some reason, had declined or denied, this was, would have routed to the medical director with all of her notes um, accompanied with it so that that could be reviewed by the medical director. But we know healthcare is a team sport. So the other member of this team is a care manager. The care manager is Melinda Green. Melinda has now been alerted that Charles Green had a care request for cardiac imaging. She's on her Today page. She can see all of her patients that have overdue tasks. She goes into Charles Green's record. And again, on the left-hand side, she's got the whole member view, all the data she needs. She's also gonna go to the timeline. The timeline allows her to look at all the data in a longitudinal view. And this is a very um, favored feature by all of our customers. They love the timeline. Here you can also see there's been a notification. That notification we were talking about earlier is, is right there. Okay, so this is a cardiac uh, issue, so she's gonna go to the care plan. And she's got multiple care plans here because what our customers said is most of my patients and members have multiple comorbidities and I need to be able to manage multiple care plans and multiple care teams on one platform. She's gonna focus on the heart failure care plan in this case. She's got problems, goals, tasks, and she's got a number of tasks associated with this member. So they can be assigned to her as the care coordinator or they can be assigned to other people on the team, the primary care physician, or the patient, the member in this case, who is very involved in his own care. 
she said she's going to do a dietitian referral because she thinks that's the best way to get Charles Green the outcome that they want. Okay, so we said it's a team sport. The most important member of this team is that member. So let's go join Charles Green. Charles Green has this view on his mobile phone. He can look at the timeline. He can look at all his care plans. But you can see on the timeline, he can see that he has a follow-up now with the dietitian for the diet plan. So we've just been on a journey. We've had a chance to show you utilization management, care management, and member management, all on one platform, the platform's health cloud, and it was a pleasure to share this, share this with you. Mike, back to you. So we have a new clicker, see if that solves some of the problems we had. So Rita said before that uh, you know, it's a team sport, and that's the same way that we feel about innovation, and that's why we have such an extensive partner ecosystem. So uh, on the left side, you'll see our consulting implementation services partners, and then the healthcare applications on the right, and then also some of our integration partners. I am constantly amazed, inspired by what each one of our partners brings to the table and how it helps each one of you in the room continue to expand the use and the value that you get out of the platform. And so I'm excited today to announce two new partnerships. The first one is actually an expansion of our relationship with IQVIA. IQVIA is a market leader in the life sciences space. They help other life sciences companies do a number of different things. On the screen, I think you can see advanced analytics, cl clinical solution suite, better outcomes. Uh, I'll, I'll put it in layman's terms. They, they, they help other life sciences companies bring their innovations to market quicker. And they do it by uh, bringing a better process to clinical trials, to driving efficiencies in that process. And then the third piece is focusing on driving better experiences for the patients and actually for the doctors themselves. And uh, we have still one day left where if later on today, if you're in the life sciences space at four o'clock, you can go and actually see one of their theater sessions to learn more. And there's actually a demo in the lodge over at the Intercontinental uh, where you can also learn more. So I, I do wanna thank uh, Tal Rosenberg and his team for the constant innovation that they're driving into this market space. Uh, fantastic partnership. And the second partner that I want to call out is Apple. I think many of you this week, probably on Monday, saw the announcement about a new partnership with Apple. And again, you know, call out a couple of different pieces here. I, I want to put the lens on though what it means in healthcare and life sciences. We have seen a very strong commitment from Apple in terms of how they think about transforming this healthcare and life sciences space. They have a deep commitment to transform the experience for the consumer and for others that are taking care of patients and members. And we share that commitment. And so I'm very excited about the new relationship and we're actually gonna share more with you in the months to come. So time to switch to what's I, th I think my favorite part of the session because it makes things far more tangible. And so we call this, you know, the, the customer success showcase in, in the session, and we're gonna highlight United Healthcare and Align. So some of you, and because we do have a very large audience of both international and domestic, you may not all know who United Healthcare is. Many of you may. United Healthcare is the largest uh, insurance company in the United States. They take care of individuals and provide you know, coverage for their members from the time that they're born, through their youth, working years, and all the way into retirement. They truly have a lifetime relationship with their customers. But I'd rather have you hear the story directly from them, so let's roll the film. As healthcare is transformed to be a much more people-centric business, the technology changes. And so a lot of the shifts that you've seen in retail or you've seen in financial services, those technology shifts are now coming into healthcare. We have to be about simplicity. We have to be about personalization. We have to be a, a, an organization that consumers look to and say, listen, I don't care you know, where I go, but I hope you have United Healthcare as your insurance company. 
an industry that's as old as healthcare, there's a lot of legacy technology. There are often times when the call center agent needs to flip between many different systems to view the results and get the answer to the member. They are busy traversing the organizational challenges to get to the solution the other person on the phone wants. And so as a consumer, that's really driving a level of frustration. And so United Healthcare needed a platform that allowed us to connect back into all of our legacy systems across the enterprise. What Salesforce gave us was a configurable platform with a well-defined set of APIs and integrations that allowed us to make those connections. With the Salesforce platform, if somebody, say, called in and needed uh, you know, diabetic education, we're able to look up local pharmacies for them that service in diabetic supplies and uh, home health agencies that come over, and we can set them up with programs to help hold their hand and guide them through those processes. Our ability to use technology to enable our service personnel to have a real life conversation, to establish a relationship with a consumer, it's a huge benefit to our service team and ultimately to our consumers. It's really a one-stop shop. It acts as like an octopus, pulling all the information to where I had to pivot previously into one place. The non-interaction time that I have with members is pretty much eliminated. It puts us in a place where we are on their side. We're friends, you know, we're, we're here together. We're gonna, we're gonna go through this together. They invest a billion dollars in capabilities and in the product, and the cloud technology really gives us the ability to scale. It's efficient. It allows us to really focus on what we do best, which is helping members live healthier lives. And to change somebody's life, to change somebody's day, uh, is just huge. It's so gratifying, and it's why I love doing what I do. Technology allows and enables us to be our best version of ourselves at every level of the organization. So I think in that regard, we are trailblazers. It allows us to give significantly greater individualized care with the right information for our members when they need it. So one of the things I get excited about when I think about what we just built is I feel like we've just laid the foundation. We're just scratching the surface of what we can accomplish and what we can accomplish together with United Healthcare and with Salesforce. I think that's a fantastic video, and hopefully what it gives you is some real tangible experiences as you hear from different peoples in an organization on some of their challenges and how they're thinking about the future, and truly that uh, compassion and commitment for their members. And they're leveraging the, the member success platform to do all these amazing things. I'm gonna welcome Samantha Schultz up on stage. She's our lead solution engineer, and she's actually gonna walk us through a little more deep depth uh, detail on the demo. Thanks, Mike. Hi, everyone. My name's Samantha Schultz. And before we get into the experience from the member perspective, let's take a look at some of the tools that United Healthcare is leveraging to provide that individualized experience to their members. They're leveraging Community Cloud, where their members can do self-service to eliminate any unnecessary calls and get information as quickly as possible. Health Cloud, where anybody on the United Healthcare team has the access to the right information at the right time. And thanks to an integration built through MuleSoft, that information includes data from EHR systems as well. And lastly, Marketing Cloud, where they build journeys that allow them to communicate with each of their members in an individualized way, but at scale, so they can outreach to their millions of members, but it still feels personal. So let's take a look from Monica's perspective. Monica is a United Healthcare member who's managing her diabetes, and she recently moved to a new city. She's in need of an insulin refill, and she doesn't know where to go since she's new to the city. So she goes to the United Healthcare app, Health for Me, to get some help. Within the app, she has access to a lot of great resources, including messages, community groups, and articles. So she takes a look at one of the articles, and she doesn't quite find what she's looking for, so she leverages the click to dial functionality right from the app. With this functionality, she's connected with Ben, a United Healthcare member representative. When he accepts her call, 
he is instantly prompted with her record. So he has information at his fingertips about Monica without having to log into multiple systems or bounce between screens. Before he gets into the issue of why she's calling, he verifies that Monica is who she is, say, says she is by capturing some key detail, details. And this way, we're providing the privacy and the confidentiality that Monica deserves. And once we confirm it is Monica, she explains that she is in need of an insulin refill and doesn't know where to go. And through an integration that United Healthcare has built right into the console, Ben can help her with that with the click of a button. He clicks on the RX refill button and he sees some of the local pharmacies in Monica's area. He can submit that order to one, the pharmacy of her, choi her choice. And from there on out, anyone who accesses Monica's record with the proper user permissions has access to that interaction. They can see the submission date, the medication that was requested, and the pharmacy that it went to. So that could be where this call ends. But again, we want to provide individualized care and allow United Healthcare to be proactive. So Ben notices that, Malin that Monica is eligible for a home wellness check. She hasn't had one in a while. And with the chaos of her move, she loves the idea of having someone come out to her house and review her health with her and make sure she's staying on track. So she loves that idea, she accepts, and Ben helps get that scheduled. A couple days later, Melinda, one of our nurses, shows up at Monica's house. And instead of showing up with a binder full of paper that is not only a hassle and a waste of paper, but it raises the risk of PHI being misplaced, she opens up her laptop and she logs into HealthCloud. And she has a 360 degree view of Monica, including the inquiry and the interaction that Monica had with Ben a couple days ago, as well as clinical information. Through that MuleSoft AnyPoint platform, an integration was built pulling in clinical data from Monica's provider's EHR. So she can see labs, prescriptions, encounters, all again within one screen. So Arthur, who's Monica's son, has joined the visit as well. He takes a huge role in helping his mother adhere to uh, managing her diabetes and maintaining her health. So he's there to get as much information as possible and stay engaged. So Melinda reviews her care plan with Monica and Arthur. They go through all the goals and the tasks that need to be uh, completed to make sure that Monica is ma managing her diabetes and staying as healthy as possible. And this includes some tasks uh, for lifestyle changes, making sure she exercises regularly, uh, checks her blood sugar on a daily basis, and starts a smoking cessation plan, starting with selecting that quit date. And while M Melinda has both Monica and Arthur in the room, she, oh, she wants to make sure that Arthur is part of the care team as well. So on the care team, she at makes sure that Arthur's there so that he can engage with the care team as well and stay as proactive and engaged as possible. While both are there, she goes into the app with Monica and Arthur and shows how Monica can manage those tasks from the app as well. So she can take that proactive approach, she can maintain her tasks and her care from within the app, making sure she stays on track, and also giving her care team insight to make sure that she doesn't need any additional support or outreach to adhere to that care plan. So as part of the program, Arthur receives a text message a couple days later with some tips on supporting a family member who's managing diabetes. And Monica receives some emails with data about how to cook healthy recipes while managing diabetes and exercise tips. And that's all thanks to journeys that are built in Journey Builder, where again, with the drag and drop user interface, United Healthcare can build these journeys, making sure that their members are staying engaged and maintaining their health. A couple days later, Monica receives a text message asking for some feedback on that visit with Melinda. And she's happy to provide that feedback. She rates it a 10 out of 10. She's so happy knowing that Monica and United Healthcare are there with her every step of the way to manage her diabetes and maintain her health. And United Healthcare is confident knowing that they're able to provide that individualized care to all of their millions of members. So I'm going to turn it back to Mike to keep talking about United Healthcare and their individualized care.
So you got to see a great video. You got to see a demo that showed you a lot of the different pieces and how they're doing it today. I think it's also helpful to hear a little bit from the minds of the individuals that are working that organization and leading, uh, leading this charge. And so it's my pleasure, though, welcome onto stage Phil McCoy, uh, Chief Information Officer for United Healthcare. Thank you. All right, fantastic. And I, I always think it's a little bit helpful to provide a, um, some background. So, Phil, can you explain your role as a chief information officer? Yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. then also how United Healthcare fits into the broader United Health Group family? Yeah, sure. So, first, I want to say thank you. Thanks to Salesforce for uh, giving us the opportunity to come here and tell our story. Salesforce is also a United Healthcare customer, and we feel privileged to serve uh, Salesforce and its employees as well. So I'm the Chief Information Officer for United Healthcare. I've been there just over, just over uh, two years, and my background is primarily a retail background. And one of the things that I was most excited about as I joined uh, United Healthcare two summers ago is this notion, this idea of a shift in our health strategy and our strategies to be much more uh, consumer and customer centric. One of the things you should know about us, we serve more than 50 million uh, people worldwide. It's not just here in the U.S. We have a significant presence in Latin America, uh, in Brazil, and earlier this year we were excited to add, uh, with our Band Medica acquisition, uh, members in Chile, Peru, and Colombia. Uh, United Healthcare is the insurance side that you, you're probably very well familiar with of United Health Group. And United Health Group, along with our partner uh, Optum, serves more than 140 million people worldwide. Um, probably the thing that I'm most excited about when I think about what I do at United Healthcare and what our entire team does is to be a part of this transformation that's occurring in healthcare and to be a part of this transformation to think about not, not, not this massive enterprise, but think about how we serve you know, individuals, people, um, one at a time. So in, in the video, one thing that stuck out, you said you felt that you've only scratched the surface. Absolutely. And, and as you think about the future and the opportunities and challenges lie ahead, um, how, how are you thinking about that future? And then also, how are you looking to transform the relationship with providers? Yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the reasons I talk about scratching the surface, uh, um, we're just getting started. In fact, we have a big release this weekend, so if I look a little nervous, it's uh, uh, those, those of us that are on the technology side of our businesses, I think you can certainly uh, appreciate that. We're just getting started because we are part of a larger ecosystem, right? You think about us as a payer, all of us as consumers of, of, uh, of healthcare, and the partnership that we have with providers. And our fundamental belief is that we will only be successful by changing the nature of those partnerships. And so today, if you think about our industry, the payer industry, historically we've had somewhat of an adversarial relationship with our provider partners. And we believe that the only way, the only way we will be successful is to change the nature of that relationship and to build a relationship that's based on trust, that's based on partnership, and there are big ways and little ways that we can do that. You know, when I think about some of the things that we're trying to do with our, our provider partners is think about how we share information differently. And that information can be administrative information. It could also be clinical information. And I'll give you two little examples. One example I would give you is we are fundamentally redefining how we share financial claim type information with our provider partners. And we've built a tool called My Insights that's rolling out right now. And that My Insight tool gives a fundamentally different level of transparency than we've ever shared before. And the providers that have started to use that will look at us and say, I can't believe you're sharing this much information with us. But our belief is if, if we partner, we serve individuals and people better. The second example I would give you is we've rolled out a tool called uh, PreCheck My Script. 
And I thought it was interesting in the demo that you showed where our member representatives can click on RX refills. And what this tool does is it's inserted into the EMR. If you can think of a widget in the EMR, uh, in the provider workflow, because the last thing that we're going to do is create another screen for providers to go look at when they're trying to serve, uh, serve patients and serve members. And what this widget does is it allows providers to check on prescriptions and check on coverage and check on cost for their patients before they make, before they e-prescribe. And what that does is it creates a much better level of satisfaction for that member, for that person. When they go to fill the prescription, they know that it's covered. They know that they're not going to have any uh, uh, unexpected surprises, financial or otherwise, when they're standing at the counter getting their prescription. And it's generated a materially different level of satisfaction for that individual. And the only way we're able to achieve that is by changing the notion of how we partner with providers. Um, yes, for the big administrative stuff as well, but honestly, that's not what's important. What's important is how are we partnering with providers to change the impact on individuals at the point of care? I think that's amazing. And it falls in line, uh, you know, along those lines where it's personal, you know, personalized, connected, collaborative. And it goes back to where, where we talked about that it is a team sport. You know, I, I think many of us in this room where we became frustrated with, with healthcare as a whole is that it seemed so disconnected and it felt like we had no way to start working together, but we do. And, and so I think it's very inspiring what you and your team are doing. The last question I'd have for you is, you know, as you think about how you help United Healthcare compete into the future, yeah. What are the things that you're continuing to do to drive that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, United Healthcare, as it competes into the future, will be successful when we focus on one. And you'll hear our CEO, Dave Wickman, talk about it all the time. Okay, we're big, right? We know that. But that's not what matters. What matters is how we operate at an individual level. That's the only thing that matters. Nobody cares how big we are when you're calling us up trying to navigate a complex care issue for someone in your family. And we think that we have an opportunity with our scale because we can set the tone for what it means to provide personalized, individualized care for the people that we serve. You know, when I think about the partnership that we have, you know, our member representative that you saw in the video probably says it best. If you think about what that job is, um, you know, prior to us rolling out the Salesforce tool, they were flipping between screens, you know, someone wanted RX information, they wanted bank information, and they were bouncing all around. And what we've built, and this is just one, frankly, one sort of small example of all that we're trying to do, is we've made it so much easier for us to serve. We've made it so much easier for us to um, answer questions, answer very complex questions uh, for people and the folks that we serve. And one of the things that I'm excited about, and Mike, I've told you this before about our partnership with Salesforce is, you know, our, our mission is to help people live healthier lives, right? And that is a very individual purpose, right? That is a, a dogged purpose that we have as a company to help people live uh, healthier lives. That's, you know, one half of the mission of United Healthcare. The other half is also to make the health system work better. And when I think about the partnerships that we're beginning to establish with providers, we're changing that relationship as well. So I'm excited at what we've, I'm mm -hmm. excited at what we've built. Um, knock on wood, we got a release this weekend, right? You know, job number one. Um, but I'm excited at the partnership we've built and look forward yeah. to continuing that. That's why we put this up here. Yeah, yeah right? Take it. Yeah, so uh, let's give Phil another round of applause. Thank you. So like, like I mentioned earlier, I think many of us have felt frustrated at times in the past on where things aren't changing, but they are. And they're changing a lot faster. You know, I, I think for those of us that have been in this industry for a long time, probably say for the last 15 years, nothing changed. And then it did. And the fact that each and every one of you are here today uh, continues to inspire us, because I think you're, you're here to learn and figure out how you can change with these times. We also know that a lot of you in the room also focus on life sciences. And so we want to make sure that we give you a really great, compelling 
customer success story from the life sciences space. So please welcome Josh Newman, our chief medical officer, up to walk us through the Alliance story. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. So you've heard about the imperative to treat patients and members like consumers. And this makes sense, especially for those segments that have direct responsibility and control over the course of a patient's care, payers and providers. But what does this mean for the life sciences? Well, as many of you know, Salesforce has been selling into the life sciences space since the beginning of our existence. Initially, we were used by organizations to sell CRM software, Salesforce, right? And then people started using us for their operations, for orders, for sample management, for inventory, and even for parts of the clinical trial process. And now we're really excited to see that even life sciences has adopted the ethos of connecting to their end users, the customers, their patients in some cases. And it's amazing to see. Now, it makes sense that they're doing this, and the reasons are pretty clear. Physicians who are more connected to a partner like a life sciences company who understand the course of care and are educated in the best treatments do better. They're better partners and they're better outcomes. Even more importantly, patients who understand their diseases, the course of their treatment, and have emotional support, they do better. They feel better and they have better outcomes and so everyone succeeds. In addition to these dynamics, the same kinds of pressures that most industries are feeling to connect to their end users, sales healthcare has some extra challenges. Whether it's the combination of payers and providers, or payers and retailers, or payers and pharmaceutical companies, we're seeing all kinds of changes affect the healthcare market right now. We're seeing fuzzy lines between these organizations, the segments of healthcare, and we're also seeing changes in business models. We're seeing consolidations, we're seeing giant companies grow to compete in this new world. So what's the answer? How are companies supposed to succeed? How are they supposed to make strategic decisions about technology amid a changing environment, business models changing, and all kinds of pressures? Well, we have an answer, of course. A unified platform really allows companies not only to solve problems today, but to be ready for the problems tomorrow. And for those of you that love products, all of our products are on this page, and Align uses many of them. But really, there are two important messages on this page. The first is that companies like Align, and many of you all, connect to all of your constituents using the same platform. The patients, providers, even employees. And the second piece of information that's important is that they're not just competing on product, and they're not just competing on service. They're establishing a platform to enable an entire journey for all of these constituents. Now, it's especially interesting that Align is doing this. They've really earned the moniker of being trailblazers. As many of you know, they're a multi-billion dollar company. They've revolutionized the world of orthodontics. They started with a product, an innovation, a device. They built services around it, diagnostics around it. And now, many years later, they're a giant company. They're enjoying profound success. And they're doing it on this platform that allows them to grow and change with agility. So to see a little bit more about what this looks like, it's my pleasure to introduce Jason Marshall, our product marketing manager. Please give him a warm welcome. Thank you, Dr. Josh. You know, I think there's a few things about this story that are especially powerful. The first is align solving a problem that's deeply personal. I could pull this room right now, and I'm not going to do it, and ask who's had orthodontics. I know I have, and I bet more than half of you would raise your hand. It's a very vulnerable experience. And the fact that Align's personalizing the process for these people, I think, means a lot. The second thing that, that's exciting is that they are living out the Salesforce value proposition every day. They are connecting to their customers in a whole new way with powerful tools like Heroku, Service Cloud, Health Cloud, Analytics. So we're going to pull up a demo and take a look at how they're using all of these to connect with me, the consumer, in a whole new way. <clears throat> So I think what's kind of exciting about this story is that Invisalign is one of the very few products in all of medicine that the consumer asks for by name. I mean, think about that for a second. How did they get to this point? Well, they've invested in their brand, and they met the consumer where they are. I have an Invisalign store in my own neighborhood here in San Francisco. It's like 10 blocks away from my apartment in the Marina District. I went there two weeks ago, had a nice conversation, gave them my information, and I got this nice personalized email my concierge uh, at Align, Brooke. 
And this email takes me to their mobile site. And they got a pretty cool functionality here. I can take a selfie on their mobile site and I can visualize my future smile. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun here at my expense. We're gonna put me through Smile View, see how I look on the other end. I, this felt a lot different on my phone practicing this week. I can't wait for this 20 foot version of me to come down immediately. But they built this on Heroku because they wanted something that was fast and they wanted something that was highly engaging for me, the end consumer. So think about where I am right now. Like I'm engaged, but Align's goal is they wanna get me in to see a doctor. How are they doing that? Well, they're using a cool functionality called Live Message powered by Service Cloud. Any parents out there in the room are gonna know if you wanna connect to someone like me, you probably shouldn't call me, you probably shouldn't email me, you gotta text me. So with Live Message powered by Service Cloud, my concierge, Brooke, can text me with a few quick messages. I'm booked, I got my first appointment with a provider. So on the back end of this, Brooke is connecting all this information into Health Cloud which Align can use to connect with me as well. Rita walked us through the timeline earlier, which is a chronological view of all my health events. One to call out is that I missed an appointment today because I'm hanging out with all of you here at Dreamforce. But if this were a real patient, they'd be at risk of attrition. They'd be at risk of not completing their treatment. So Align could see this take action, make sure they get on track. Second thing that's cool to call out is that they got this collaboration view. There's a lot of people involved in my care journey. There's a doctor, obviously. In most households, the mom's the financial decision maker. I'm probably a little bit old for my mom to be paying for my Invisalign, but I kind of promise I put her in this demo so we can just play along for the time being. There's a hygienist, there's an office manager. Who knew it took this many people to get my teeth straight? But it does, and Align can make sure they're all working together with Health Cloud. So we just talked about what this means for me the consumer, but how are they connecting to their doctors in a whole new way? Well, one thing they're doing that's pretty exciting is they're given best-in-class technology. This is the iTero scanner. My friend Kevin from Align uh, delivered this this morning. He reminded me it's $32,000. I'm a little bit of a klutz, so I gotta be careful. But this took a scan of my mouth this morning, so we all get to share in a 3D version of my mouth together. <laughs> this is a connected device. All this is feeding into Salesforce Analytics. Align can see that Oh look, scans have gone up exponentially this year. Utilization has been much higher than expected. Uh, if a rep is going into a doctor's office, the conversation isn't, hey, how's your scanner doing? The conversation is data driven. It's Einstein's telling me that you might need a new device in six months. Let's start talking about how to pay for this thing. The final thing that Align is doing to really enable the next generation of doctors is they're making trailblazers out of them, just like we're trying to do here at Salesforce. Uh, and they're doing this through the fun, fast, free learning platform called Trailhead. If they're gonna be the next wave of digital orthodontists, then they need to know how to use their products. And if they can have access to a platform that shows them learning modules, can help them further uh, connect with the Invisalign brand, then they're gonna be better representatives for Align out there. So in summary, this is how Align is being a trailblazer. They're transforming digital orthodontics by connecting the consumer and the doctor on one single platform. Dr. Josh, back to you. Great. That was fantastic. How inspiring is it to see a life sciences company, a healthcare company, achieving the pinnacle of customer interaction and engagement like you would see in a retail company or a consumer goods company? I'm so proud of Align. I'm so proud of our company to be delivering this. It's really wonderful. Now, to hear it even a level deeper with even more detail, um, we had Sri Lakshmi Kohli was supposed to speak today, but she had an urgent issue that come up and she had to leave town. And so it's really my pleasure to welcome my new buddy, Christine Rose, the VP of Digital for Align Technologies. Please give her a warm welcome. Thank you, Christine. Thank you very much. So you've spoken, your company, we've spoken about Better Together, the concept that Align plus the physicians enable a better result, better success for you and the patients. Can you give us a sense about how you're creating those relationships? Sure. So I won't also pull the room because you told me I wasn't allowed to, but that takes all the fun out of it for me. So Why? pull the room. Pull the room. So how many of you actually talk to your customers? Oh, pretty good. Better. We used to not, right? Especially in healthcare, life sciences, we don't typically talk to our customers. 
We give them what we think they want. At Align, we actually listen to our doctors. And how do we do that? We do it through a variety of different ways. We do webinars, surveys, trade shows, and trust me, those doctors tell us exactly what they want to hear and what they want. What do we do with that once we hear from them? We invest. How much do we invest? Last year alone, we invested $130 million in R&D. That's a lot, based on their feedback. Without them, what do we know what to build? So once we actually invest, then what happens? We experiment. Boy, does Align love to experiment. We experiment, we learn fast, we fail fast, we fail a lot, but then we also learn and iterate on our products and services to help us advance digital dentistry. So that leads us to another good question. You talked about your innovation. Clearly, Align started in one area, you've grown, you've increased your service offerings, you've even grown to expand different constituencies. Can you tell us a little bit about how the Salesforce platform may have contributed to your ability to innovate, to do something new, to measure its results, and maybe do something new as a result of what you've learned? Sure. So Salesforce really enables us to give the experience. So we used to look at doctors as doctors, right? That's how a lot of us look at them, white coats. They're from afar. Now we're looking at them as consumers. And so the Salesforce platform really helps us with the experience and provide them that consumer experience. I bet you all can pull out your phones. I see a lot of phones looking at me right now. We all have them. Doctors have them too. Do you think they want to go back to a desktop and actually do their work? No, they want to pull out their phone, take a picture of you, and say, hey, here's your perfect smile. Or in our case, we can actually have an app what we call our photo, photo uploader, and it actually will give us clinical outcome as well in the doctor office. So we're using that platform to provide the best dental experience that we can. And finally, I bet many of the organizations represented here in the room are admire or have respect for what Align has done and maybe even want to follow in your footsteps. Maybe they want to increase their service offerings. Maybe they want to connect to different constituencies. Do you have any advice for them and how they might help transform their organizations to do some of the things that Align has accomplished? That's a great question. One of the biggest transformations that we have made at Align is really digital. What does that mean? It's really thinking about the dentist as a consumer and what kind of experience are we really going to provide to them? Is it about writing lines of code? We all write lines of code, right? I think Phil has a big line of code going out uh, soon. <laughs> But that's not what it's about. It's about really envisioning the experience that the doctor's going to have with the solutions that we provide. So if you start thinking digital first, consumer first, because these doctors shop on Amazon, they get dinner delivery, they probably came here in Ubers. They are very mobile app oriented. And so we need to make sure that any experience that we provide gives them that same consumer feel that they now expect out of life sciences. It's wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, Christine found out last night at 11.30 she was going to be here. Thank you very much. <laughs> and thank you all. Please, Mike Lucy. All right, let's bring this home. When we approach any type of session like this, we think about each and every one of you in this room. What have you told us in the past? What were you looking for? And we hear constantly, tell us more stories. So we have a way to look at our own business and compare and figure out a path forward. Second thing we hear is, give us more insights into what you're doing with your technology. I want you to know that the starting point, customer success always begins with putting the patient, the member, the customer in the center that you can have it personalized, collaborative, and connected. And you saw many stories today that showed you that it's possible. And I invite each and every one of you to continue that journey with us for the rest of today. So you have a day, day and a half left. If you haven't been to the lodge, the lodge is down at the Intercontinental. We have demo stations. You can go see IQVIA there. You can see a number of our other partners there highlighting really compelling experiences that make it more tangible. 
Second thing that you can do is um, enjoy some refreshments. We got an oxygen bar. So if you're feeling a little bit down right now, go in and kind of amp yourself up. And, uh, and there's some, uh, also some giveaways there. So I, I invite you to come over to that. And then post stream force, the next question we get asked is, how do I learn more? And, and we make it very easy. We make it very easy by using Trailhead. So if you see on the right there, DF18 Health Cloud, we invite you to continue your journey post Dreamforce, invite your team to see it and learn more about Health Cloud. And the last piece is, just like I started, healthcare and life sciences is very personal to me. And I was serious when I told the story about my family, is I look each and every day at my family and I know it's because of folks like you in the room. And, and I'm very grateful for that. The other part that I want you to know is that there are thousands of people at Salesforce that wake up every single day with you in mind. Just like we help you figure out how to be more successful with your customer, you're our customer. You're our patient. You're our member. You're the people that we care most about. And we are so grateful that you decided to spend your day with us. So thank you again, and enjoy the last part of Dreamforce.